Hi, so we're in back in Vex Code VR, and we're going to take a look at using sensing. Um, so let's go ahead and um, and open the playground here, and we're going to uh, change to disk maze. Okay, um, and to help us out here, we're going to go ahead and open this uh, this uh, set of um, uh, well, I don't know what you call it, set of readings from our sensors, right? So. So if we uh, take a look here, we've got heading, rotation, front eye. Under front eye, we have object is false, color is none. Down eye, we have object is false, color is none. Location X, this is basically if we look from top to bottom. Whoops, we look from the top. You know, our X location, um, it looks like we have a center point, and then basically our X is some negative value from the center point, and Y is some negative value. So we're going to some, we basically have an origin in the center of the board. Um, and then we have location, angle, and distance. Okay, so, so let's take a look at having our robot drive forward and then until it hits a, uh, a, um, a green, until it reads green on the down eye. So, so if you notice here we have, um, so if we click and drag here, then we kind of zoom in. Oops, this is all, all it's going to zoom for me there. So you notice that we have these green spots on the on the on the board here, and we have blue spots and red spots. Okay, so so um, let's say that we want to have our robot drive forward until um, the sensor reads green. Okay, so that might be a good example of of how to do it, or uh, something we might want to do with sensing. So. So the first thing we're going to do here is that we need a loop. Okay, so so we're basically going to have the um, have the robot loop. So let's go back up to control. So we're going to go ahead, and there are two ways to do this. Um, so we can either have it loop forever and break when it uh, when it um, when some condition is true, or we can loop until some condition is true. So. So, um, so there are a couple different strategies here. So, so basically, let's do both. So let's so let's try both. So, uh, so first we're going to go while, and then we're going to drag over while, um, and then we're going to say uh, down eye. Oops. Notice that notice these things when we're trying to drag them in. It's a little bit tough. It's not in the middle. So notice that it's in the front point. Kind of activates the socket there. Okay, so um, so here we have while front eye detects, let's say green, right? We're going to uh, drive forward. So uh, we're going to go to drive train, and we're this time instead of drive forward for two hundred millimeters, we're just going to say drive forward, right? So so basically, this is going to loop while the front eye detects green. So let's go ahead and play that. And by the way, I'm tricking you. This is not going to work. So so let's go ahead and click start. And guess what? Um, nothing happens. Okay, so so um, let's go ahead because the front eye doesn't detect anything right now. So if we look, we looked at our maze, we see front eye object false color none. Right. So that so the 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 um, the uh, front eye isn't detecting anything. Right. So what we could do, we could say front eye detects none. So we could say while front eye detects none. So as long as the front eye detects none. This will come, basically this is a question, right? It says, does front eye detect none? Okay, so right now it says none, right? So we could go ahead and, and, uh, and reset and go ahead and play or start. And now we see color none, oh, and it gets there. Oh, there's color green, right? Okay, now I run into my second problem. So, so basically I set, the, I set the robot into a state, right? I said to say, hey, drive forward. What I didn't do is tell it to stop driving, right? So notice it's still just kind of running into that barrier there. Um, so what I could do is I could click do stop driving, right? So let's go ahead and reset it. Start again. It detects none, none, none. Oh, there it's green and it stopped driving, right? Okay, now the distance is uh, 90 millimeters. So notice now we also have a distance. We have a distance to the, um, to the, uh, um, to the goal there. Um, so let's say that we want to go ahead and uh, and right turn. So while front eye detects none, we're going to drive forward. Um, then let's say we're going to go ahead and turn heading. Um, 
let's say next thing we're going to do is we want to turn until we see another another um, uh, another object. So let's take a look at how we would do that. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to do another while loop. Okay. In fact, let's go ahead and just do a forever loop in this case. Okay. So we're going to then turn forever. Okay. And while we're turning, we're going to go ahead and say we're going to uh, turn right. Just turn right forever. Okay. And let's take a look at what happens there. So, so we're going to just, um, this is a great way to kind of discover our surroundings. So we have this game board, right? And we drive forward and we've, we've you know, successfully driven forward until we detect something other than none. In this case, it's green, right? Okay. Uh, and then we're going to turn and we basically set it up to turn forever, right? So we're just going to forever loop turn right. And then we're just going to take a look at our readings up here. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and experiment a little bit. So, uh, so let's go ahead and click start. And we're driving forward. Notice our front eye is false and none. Okay, now we start to turn, right? And notice that our down eye goes green. Our distance is less, right? So let's go ahead. I can't really tell what's happening here. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to stop it. I'm going to reset it. And I really need our turning. Um, if I'm going to watch the values, I need our turning speed to be much, much lower, right? So so we're going to set the turn velocity to, uh, to let's say, 10%. Okay, and I'm going to click Start again. So here we go. And now we're turning much slower. So the distance reads a big, big distance. All right, all of a sudden it's way less. So notice that. See how we look at our distance here? So it's not close enough. You know, our, our, our color sensors, our front sensor, you know, has some limit. You know, it doesn't see green until right there, right? It doesn't see the green sitting way over here on the right. It doesn't see blue. Okay, but we do have this distance sensor, and you notice that our distance sensor, um, so if we, uh, if we look here, our distance sensor, now it's going to hit the green. It's like 90, right? And then if we look over, we see that now our distance sensor, right then, right when it saw that blue, um, right when it saw that next blue target right there, it was about 466, right? So, so let's go ahead and, um, and let's make a condition, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to have it turn right, okay? But, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to make a condition and we're going to say, hey, robot. <laughs> we're going to say, hey, robot. Uh, if, and then we're going to say, hey, if your sensor, if the distance, right? So here's our, that was our distance right here. If distance in millimeters is between two values, right? So we want, we have two threshold values, right? So, so we don't want it to stop turning. Uh, when it when it looks at the green target, right? So that green target was like 90 millimeters, right? So we want to say, hey, we want you to turn right until your distance sensor reads between, let's say, 200 or let's say 300 and 500, okay? So we know that's kind of a close target kind of near us, right? So we want to say if... Um, so we're going to kind of build up a big if statement here. So, so we say we got two. Um, so we, we're going to kind of build a, a set of values. So we just want to say, hey, if distance, and each one is going to be, you know, one, we want to get a, a range of values, right? So we're going to say um, if, if our distance is, you know, greater than, whoops, so greater than and less than. So if our distance is greater than 200 and less than 500, okay? So if we say our distance is greater than 200 and less than 500, so distance um, in millimeters, right? And distance in millimeters. So we're kind of boxing in our values, right? So we're saying if our distance in millimeters is let, greater than 200 and it's less than 500, then, whoops, 
Okay, so if our distance, that's our, that's our condition, right? So if our distance is less than, greater than 200, it's less than 500, right? And we know this because we kind of watched it as it turned, then we are going to break out of our forever loop, okay? So we use the break command here. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Um, so let's go ahead and click Start. And we're turning slowly. Whoops. And look, we stopped. Okay, so let's try it again here and let's take a look at our values. So, so we're going to straight ahead. Oop, we hit green. So now we're in that forever loop. We're turning. Uh, there's our distance. Oh, it hit 467. So once it hit 467, right, it was, you know, well over a thousand there for a while. Once it hit 467, all of a sudden, hey, it was between, you know, it was looping here in our forever loop, right, turning. Each time it was checking, hey, is it between 200 and 500, right? Is it greater than 200 but less than 500? And it was false, so it didn't break. It skipped this break, right? But then finally, it was 467, right? So it went, it said, hey, is it, you know, is it between 200, greater than 200 and less than 500? Oh, it is true. Okay, run break. And we broke and we went out to our next line of code, okay? So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna duplicate, whoops, I duplicated too much. So we're gonna duplicate now our first loop, okay? So we're gonna delete. Uh, okay, so we're gonna duplicate this first loop and we're gonna say, okay, while our front eye detects none, we're gonna drive forward again. Okay, so let's go ahead and click start and see what happens here. So while front eye detects none, we're gonna drive forward. So we're going straight, detected green. So now we're in our forever loop. Oh, it got our distance was less than. Oop, and let's see what happened here. All right, so we're gonna restart and click start again. Okay, so keep an eye on front eye is green, right? Okay, now we're, uh, our distance goes between our values. Ooh, and look what happened there. So uh, let's go ahead and do it again, and let's see if our, uh, if our down, so our front eye never really, uh, never really, uh, um, never caught the target, right? So, so let's go ahead and run it again. Okay, so it's turning, we're watching our values, right? Okay, it gets the distance is low. Oop, and there for a second, notice that even though our front eye didn't catch it, our down eye did catch the blue color. Um, so let's go ahead and, and uh, instead of blue eye, let's go ahead and do down eye. And let's try it one more time and click start. Okay, it's turning. Oop, our distance, ooh, there's a target, our distance goes down, and our down eye catches the blue target there. Okay, so that is an introduction to using sensing in, in, uh, in conjunction with if statements and while loops, um, and I hope it helps uh, get you off on the right track on programming your robot. Uh, best of luck.